Morning campers! Today I have a little Beauty Bay haul for you. So like the first time I've ever ordered from Beauty Bay, didn't know it existed about six months ago. Where have I been? Living under a rock probably. But then again I didn't really used to you used to, uh, but then again I didn't really used to buy beauty products online. I used to go into stores and buy them. Pandemic may have changed that. So uh, yeah basically I bought from Beauty Bay and then and box arrive and box full of goodies look at all that all that goodiness in there and this is what we've got to unbox today so first up we have uh, brushes two of them they come in these massive packets and yet the brushes aren't exactly that big i mean hmm? why do you need such a huge amount of packaging for a couple of tiny little brushes to me it doesn't make sense but there we are um yeah so a couple of eyeliner brushes because i need a new angled brush because mine's falling apart and then i've got like a little pencil brush as well i've never actually bought beauty bay brushes before brushes for me is like i have no idea how to buy brushes it's like i kind of want to Go and investigate and handle the brushes and see what they're like first and check their firmness and things before I buy them. So buying them online is a bit odd. But anyway, this is the Just Wing It liner brush. And you can see, look, that's like slanted on the top, which is good. Oh, it feels like a good brush. I like mine to be soft, but then I kind of like them to be quite firmly dense. Otherwise I find they get stuck in the blobby bits in the corner of my eye. Technical term blobby bits, I don't even know what to call it. They get stuck in the bit in the gap between like the eye and my actual eyeball and then like where my skull bone is. In the gap here. So basically, hopefully, this one will be dense enough or firm enough to be able to apply my liner without um, it going everywhere. I think this brush was about two pounds. It feels quite it feels quite well made for two quid actually. It feels quite quite well weighted. It feels good in either of my hands, which is good. For some of them I find a bias more towards right handed people, but when I do my makeup I tend to left side of face left hand and right side of face with right hand. Don't ask, it's just I just find it a lot easier than crossing over my, my face and stuff. Like naturally I'm like pretty much left handed, I do most things left handed. So I find that uh, a lot of things are biased towards right-handed people. So this is nice to find something that's like pretty much ambidextrous. Is that the right word? I think so. Made for people with... You can use it with the other hand, basically. It does feel really soft. I shouldn't do that. It damages the bristles. And then the next one was from the same kind of range it's the same rose gold range i think again it was like two pounds so it's quite affordable this one is the all in the beats line i wish they'd say details it annoys me but yeah this one gets a funny little cap because it's like a really 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 fine point look very fine point Hopefully this one will help me like kind of get my winged liner and stuff on point. She says hopefully. Yeah, winged liner and me don't tend to get on very well. I have no idea how to do it and I think I've been using like the wrong kind of brushes and things trying to do it. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more precise lines with this. Because it's how thin it is. Again, it's quite soft. And it's like got a nice sort of like tapered pointy end. I want to say it's not like a sharp point, it's just like a tapered end. It's not like gonna spike you in the eye kind of sharp point. Don't worry about that. But yeah, it does feel feels like really soft and really smooth. Which is good. It's quite relaxing actually sitting here, stroking the back of my hand with a brush. But yeah. See I was I was sort of torn between like the straight bodied ones but then you can get brushes like this which have like an angled but the metal part of it's quite kind of angled and i was like oh, i have no idea which one's going to be good enough for me like not not good enough but like which one will work better for me i have no idea but i've gone for like the straight angled one because all of my other brushes are straight angled so hopefully 
I'll be able to get some nice on point eyeliner in the future. Next up, I bought myself some new makeup. So um, I have a liquid eyeshadow. This is like the Beauty Bay's own brand. This is their liquid eyeshadow in the shade How Light. Um, I've had liquid eyeshadows before. However, they've never ever worked particularly well for me. They sort of tend to go everywhere in my experience. Well, they tend to be not very pigmented and they're just pretty crap really. But um, yeah, I have this one. And then how light is like this rather nice shade of blue with like iridescent particles and stuff in it. It looks a lot bluer on camera. It looks kind of more turquoisey in, in real life. It kind of matches like, it matches almost. It looks a bit of purple. It's a really nice colour. It is quite sheer, like when you first swatch it, but like this is the colour. Yeah, you can kind of see it looks a lot more teal on camera now all of a sudden, now I've done that. Hopefully I'll be able to like layer it up so that it looks a bit more blue, but it is like very, very shiny. It's got like, um, it's like a cobalty blue, but then there's also purple kind of glitters in there, and the camera's not really picking them up very well. Which is a shame. Which is a shame, it just looks kind of wet. It does look like a more greeny kind of bluey colour, especially like towards the edges. You can kind of see on the edges of the swatch, it's kind of like a more tealy kind of blue. But I am looking forward to plonking this on my eyes and just kind of seeing how good it looks on my eyes. <laughs> It would be interesting as well because my eyes kind of, they look different colours in different lights and when I have like different hair colours and wear different makeup kind of colours as well. So it can be anywhere from grey to green to blue and it's like well I wonder what colour this will make my eyes look. Probably like grey. Hopefully it'll make them look a lot more blue. Copper tends to make them look really blue but then purples tend to make them look green so I have no idea about blue eyeshadow because I've never worn blue eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to trying this out in a few videos in the future. The next thing, also makeup. This is uh, the Revolution Magnetics Duochrome Eyeliner in Bolt. Couldn't get this on Revolution's site, so um, I have resorted to buying from elsewhere. It's um, a liquid eyeliner, basically. I've never used a proper liquidy kind of eyeliner before. I've used like the pen versions, but not one where it actually comes in a pot, so this one kind of... You can see it, it, it's like in a pot. Hang on, let's get it out. Shit, get off. So yeah, this is like one of these ones that's got the liner in an actual pot and then you have like a little brushy thing on the end. It'll be interesting to see how good this pointy brushy thingy actually is. Let's give it a swatch. Ooh, it does look very liquidy. That might not be very good. Uh oh. Yeah, this is quite liquidy. It's kind of settling into like all the creases and stuff on the back of my hand. But mm, it's not very sheer as well. I'm hoping that as it dries down, it'll kind of be a bit less sheer. But it has like bled quite a bit. But you can literally see around the edge where it's kind of like all feathered out in the Reuse in my skin. I don't want an eyeliner that does that. I don't want it to do that in my eyes. It's like you see my crow's feet. Mm. Hopefully it won't do that in real life, but yeah. It's like a purple eyeliner and then it's got like um bluey kind of glitter in it as well. That's not very pretty. But again, the camera's not doing a fantastic job at picking them up. I'm kind of trying to work out if these eyeshadow colours actually go together. Well, the eyeshadow and liner. Perhaps. That might be something to test out on my eye. I won't even try using the liquid eyeshadow as a liner as well. Ooh, ideas. See, so yeah, I just want to play with makeup now. This is the problem. I buy new makeup and I just want to play. But yeah, it's kind of like drying down now. Yeah, there's definitely a whole load of glitter in it. It's very like iridescent. 
So it'll be very interesting. So yeah, you can kind of see like the bluey kind of reflective glitter. And I do like this colour. It's a very nice colour. You can see it like a little bit more in the bottom of like the, the pot. It's kind of like a purpley colour, like a dark purple. With lots of glitter in it. But yeah, now I've got one of these. I might try and do like a graphic eyeliner kind of look. I've seen lots of people do them and they kind of like want to have a go. But being an eyeliner novice, I have no idea where to start. So I might have a go with these, especially now I've got these in my brushes. Next up is a freebie. Uh, what's this? This is uh, the Aloe 99% Soothing Gel. Ooh. I get through no end of aloe gel in the summer because my skin just burns in the sun. It doesn't matter how much sun cream I slather all over my face, how much SPF I use. I can have like, I feel my sun cream is SPF 100 and it's like, yeah, my skin still burns. So I get through no end of this stuff. So it will be interesting to see how this compares to my current banana boat favourite one. Um, it's, in, it's only like a tiny little sample sachet, but I dare say it will do my nose. I might actually put this in my handbag and just... I might actually just chuck it in my handbag and just keep it for when I need it on the go. As you can bet at some point during the summer, my nose will be end up bright red, look like Rudolph in the middle of the summer. But yeah, um, sample. We're not expecting that. And last stop in my haul, I have the... Uh, BU monthly patches with like the natural ingredients. I've heard good reviews about these, however I've never tried them out so I'm going to have a go. I mean like, if you've watched one of my videos before you will quite often see me with hold a bottle just clamped on my stomach absolutely bent double in pain and um, yeah. I'm going to try these out and see, a little bit sceptical as to whether they will work. I'll give it a go. If anything, it'll probably, if it's got like essential oils and stuff in there, it'll just make me smell nice. <laughs> That'll be like the worst thing, is that they just make me smell nice. But it says they have natural ingredients and released over 12 hours, discreet and comfortable. Yeah, these might work better for like a summer heat wave if they do work. When I, I don't really want to be lugging around my hot water bottle, because it just doesn't work in the winter, does it? And then um, in the summer, it doesn't work in the summer. It just doesn't work in the summer. So I'm going to have a go with some of these. And I will post a full review later on when I actually get around to trying them. Apparently it's supposed to produce a cooling effect. Hmm. Hmm. Now, to me, kind of muscle cramps always sort of say hot water bottle. Perhaps... Well, it's actually not to apply heat on top of the patch, but same as if I'm in like absolute agony, I'm gonna have to take the patch off. But anyway, um, I've got some of these, I'm gonna give them a go. I think they get like five in a packet or something, yeah, a pack of five packets. So I will give them a go and I will see if they work. And I will, will post a full review of these because I'm just as interested to find out if they work as. A lot of other people are, so review incoming. Well, campers, that's the end of my haul for today. A few different things, some makeup, some brushes, and some period patches. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a little thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi in the comments. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, don't forget to click the subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.